seeing him that first day was a real shock. He was a changed man. He was a changed man. Steady, calm, honorable. Those are the words that Lori Sullenberger used to describe her 58-year-old husband, now known to the world as Sully. In their nearly 20 years of marriage, he's been a man of consistency, not of change. But that was before January 15th. We can't do it. Okay, which runway would you like at Teterboro? We're going to be in the Hudson. 90 seconds into flight 1549, a bird strike caused both engines to fail. Captain Chesley Sullenberger had to ditch an Airbus A320 into the Hudson River. I knew I had to find a way out of this box I found myself in. As a result of his skilled landing and 155 survivors, he's been transformed into an instant celebrity. It's been intense. It's been a blur. You know, the, the investigation, the first few days were, were difficult. And despite a near-perfect outcome, Sully still wonders what more he could have done. I still feel a responsibility for everything that happened. I mean, that's, that's literally a part of the job, is that good, bad, or indifferent, that's the captain's responsibility. Meanwhile, at their home in Danville, California, he and his wife say the word hero makes them both uncomfortable. Sully was thrust into a situation and did what he knew to do. It wasn't a situation of his choosing. I'm proud of him. I am immensely proud of him, and I'm grateful to have him home. Um, but I don't think of him as a hero either, I'm afraid. <laughs> But he was prepared. After getting his pilot's license at 16, he was an Air Force fighter pilot and has flown commercially for nearly 30 years. He's an expert on accidents, has trained pilots and crews in emergency procedures, and has written extensively about how crews react in crises. Could there have been anyone on the planet better equipped to fly that plane that day? Yeah, thousands, but it just happened to be me. Ten days after the accident, he was back home, a hero in public, but a husband and father in private. I, I, I wasn't able to connect with him emotionally right away the way I hoped I would. Spending time with his wife and two daughters, reading the cards and letters from thousands of strangers all over the world. P.S. Thank goodness for a man like you. Has helped him reconnect. I've told him he's reached Santa Claus status. We get letters from England addressed to Captain Sullenberger, Danville, California, and they arrive. And coming face to face once more with the passengers of Flight 1549 was a reminder not only of the lives saved, but the families brought closer together. I'll never be able to tell you what, what's, what you've done for us. Including his own. Not a day goes by that I don't kiss her or touch her or sit down and really listen closely to what my daughters say to me. Sounds like it's given you a greater appreciation for your family. It has, and for my life.